Hello everybody, my name is Kendo Moro and welcome back for another video of Humankind. We're going to continue this series. Uh, obviously, in the last video, we went ahead and uh, upgraded our settlement a little bit. We got a couple more units, split them up a little bit so we can explore uh, even further. And get. Uh, we're getting ready to get another settlement. I got enough points uh, for it to do. I, I think I needed like 40 or something. I got enough points to get another one. I wanted to uh, get it right here. Just so I can get it as close as possible to my other one. Uh, we are going to keep... Uh, let me just go ahead and do the end turn really quick. We're going to keep going for these resources. That's all I think, I'm think i thinking about right now, I guess. The only objective we've got. There's no real objective in the game. Except for, I guess, getting into the last era first, right? Uh, winning. That's basically how you win. Is getting to the uh, main era. The, the modern era, whatever. So we got to get there, but in order to get there, it's basically us getting all these different resources and stuff. So uh, we'll try our best right here. Uh, we do have a confirmation. What is this? Hold on. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Are they attacking us or what's going on here? I don't know what's going on over there. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, before we do anything about that, the game is having a, a hard time loading. It's always the case the first time around I'm loading the game. And stuff like that. I start uploading. It's having a hard time. So let me just go ahead and go here really quick with that unit. Uh, we can't do anything else. We can't go further than this. That unit uh, doesn't have a lot of movement points, I gotta tell you. Alright, so that's done. Let me go ahead and go right here. There we go. The Sanctuary Boys. We're gonna go right there. And uh, now we're gonna settle. We're gonna put an outpost right here. So claim the territory. Ransack. We are going to claim the territory right here. Boom. So uh, right right here. Yeah, no. Also, the type of terrain is not available. We can't do that right here. Okay, that's interesting. So I, I, I still want it very close. I want, a, uh, I want an outpost very close. So I think I'm going to put it somewhere where I can get at a lot of resources, boy. So that's 3-3. Three, three. Look at that. That would give me a lot of production and a lot of food if I put it right here. I can't put it right there because that wouldn't give me as much. I gotta put it somewhere that it gives me a lot of stuff, right? Uh, here, over here would give me a lot of things. Uh, but the same thing for over here. It's kind of the same old, same old, right? So I'm gonna put it right there. That's gonna be my other outpost. There we go. Right here. So with this unit, we're gonna settle in. And uh, we're doing that with this unit. Uh, what about... Okay, so what is, what is this right there? Open? Uh, open a battle. So I don't know what happened, what's happening here, but I guess we are having a battle going on right here. So let me just see really quick. Defend. Is that like an enemy unit just attacking me out of nowhere? I think we should be all right, but just in case, we're going to go into manual uh, battle really quick. All right, there we go. We're going to start deploying. We got three different divisions, so we're going to put him right here. And we're going to put that uh, unit right here. So that's going to be my deployment. We got a, some sort of camp right here. We're defending that. So I think my deployment is fine. We got some sort of elephant behind our mammoth. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Did we win already? Wait, did we? Oh no, they're right there. Okay, so they're starting to attack us or something. Did, do they uh, get the first? Yes. They get the first assault. They're not as dangerous as us. It seems like we have a little bit more hit points. So... That's really good. Let's kill him off really quick. I think uh, we're doing just fine. Yeah, we're gonna go with this unit. We're gonna go in that direction and we're gonna start attacking them from behind as well. Now, this guy should be dead. I just wish we uh, moved faster and stuff, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be the case. Alright, so uh, we did it. I think that was pretty easy battle right there. I mean, it's 3v1. So, very easy one. We got 10, 10. So, 10 of food, 10 of stars. Really good. And uh, we can quit that, uh, I think. We do have a mammoth available to us. That's already uh, fantastic. I kind of want that. We're going to keep moving, though. We're going to keep moving towards that direction. Just like that. There we go. That's what I like to see right here. We do have an event as well. We got the curiosity uh, knowledge. Let me see what the event is all about. So, uh, a salve for the blooded. Uh, the battle is over. The tribe's still alive. More and most still able to enjoy the warm car uh, caress of the midday sun and the cold bite of the morning frost. Yet you didn't come out uh, of the encounter wholly unscathed. 
Several of the tribe carry nasty wounds, none more so than one of the young fighters you're most fond of. Deep in slumber, b uh, blood oozes from a deep gash from her n uh, to her neck. Such wounds usually end in death, but one of the elder's followers thinks he can heal her by applying a poultry... Uh, Poultress of tree bark and plant leaf. What do you say? Treat, dismiss. Uh, we're not gonna pray to the uh, to the people. Uh, treat. So these uh, concoctions can be powerful forces. It is our be uh, our uh, our best hope. Just sort of a triggering another narrative event. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna treat her. Why not? I mean, it's medicine after all. We might as well do it, right? We gotta use the medicine. So we can still use the points to. If we de decide to change our mind to just get an outpost right here. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go, I guess, right here. Right here. And we're going to start ransacking around, all right? We, if we you see an, a sanctuary or something, a place that would be good, definitely going to do it. I'm going to settle around and do that. Now, that uh, our party is doing just fine. I'm going to wait until I got, like, four units in it. And then I'm going to split the party up a little bit. Uh, for now, though, it seems like we're going to be just fine. I don't think we have anything else. I think everybody's pretty much moved up. What about our outpost right here? It's uh, one turn. In one turn, so the next turn is going to have a, its first population. So it's actually going to have someone living there for the first time. So that's going to be really good. Let's go ahead and get out of that and get into the next turn really quick. Oh, I do have another unit. That's right. I didn't move the other unit. At least it's doing that, you know. So I got to move him around, back around, I guess. And we do have some resources on that side. But I, I want to keep moving right here. Seems like this path is kind of blocked by the mountains. It's very well protected. Yeah, I can't go there, so I got to go around, really. It's very well protected by the mountains, I got to say. All right, so now we can end the turn. All right, we're in turn 27, boys. Let's keep moving. Uh, the, the mammoth went away, but that's going to be a lot of resources if we can manage to get that. So definitely going to try and get that. First off, though, we are going to get uh, the resources we wanted. So uh, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to go right here and start uh, getting an outpost uh, right here. Boom. So get the outpost. Second outpost, boys. Looking a bird yog, whatever that op name is. It's a long ass name, but uh, we're definitely going to do that. We also have plenty of resources. So I'm going to get that one right here. Get a lot of resources, boys, just from that. And we're going to keep moving around. There was another resource here uh, right there. There we go. We're going to get that one as well. Got some knowledge stars right there. That's very good indeed. I can't move any further with that unit. So that's very good. I mean, look at that party right there. It says 4 out of 4, though. I don't know. I'm not sure. We're still going to get another one soon enough. But uh, that party is doing very good. It's uh, unlocking a bunch of stuff. We got a lot of stars. We got a second uh, outpost right here. Our first outpost has a population of 1. Or should have a population of 1. Oh, it's another 3 turns. No, okay. So it still needs another 3 turns before doing so. Okay. I misread it the first time around, boys. Okay, that's fine. What about my other one? So... My other army right here, my, my biggest one, which is my main one, it's going to go ahead and uh, go right there. We're going to start attacking. Uh, we're going to do uh, instant resolution. I don't need to do the battle or anything. Seems like uh, we probably not, uh, didn't even lose anything on that one. So 5-5 five, five right there. I imagine if I do the battle manually, it actually gives me more. It probably does, to be honest. So... I should probably do the man, uh, do it manually. I'm not sure. All right. So what about this unit right here? So this unit, I gotta really move it all the way around. Uh, really. So it doesn't seem like it has a lot of movement points. This unit does is literally like doing nothing at all. It can't move anywhere. It can't do shit. I don't like that unit, man. It's not doing anything to it right now. All right. So we're turn 28. Let's see what we got. Are we finally going to be able to move on to a different era or something eventually? I'm not sure. Kind of want to get these guys, but it seems like they already have two of population and stuff. I just want to keep moving and get the, these era stars. So I'm going to I'm gonna end up going after these guys, I guess. I'm going to start attacking them if I can, that is. I'm going to ransack them and 
and get as much resources out of them as possible, boys. Uh, as for you, can we get to the sanctuary? I think we can. Uh, the mammoth is very far away, probably. So we're going to just get there and we're going to ransack the whole thing, boys. So let's go ahead and ransack this uh, this place. Boom. There we go. We're going to ransack this. It's going to take a turn. I'll uh, ransack the sanctuary and that should be great. We also have... So now that we've settled in right here, we are going to go here and get that resource easily. Boom. Just like that. And um, I want to go around and there's lots of other resources we can get. That was just simply food right there. So I'm going to go right here into the sanctuary as well. And we are going to go ahead and... Whoa, 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 whoa. I want to do that. Ransack. Boom. And I'm going to go ahead and ransack this place. It's going to give me plus 20 food, boys. It's giving a, you a lot of resources when you do that. So you definitely want to do that. And uh, the other one, I guess I'm going there. I'm going to go here for that guy. And uh, we're going to collect that knowledge star, which is going to put us at, into a new era, boys. There we go. Finally. So cultural milestone is going to unlock a Neolithic era star, allowing you to move to the ancient era and choose your first culture. This will provide you with bonuses and unlock new gameplay possibilities. Press the Empire button in the Empire banner at any time to access the culture selection screen. Yes. All right, so we've got a new culture selection, new era. Fame rewards. Okay, good. So we got a brand new era. You've earned an uh, era star and may now choose a culture. So what do we want? Uh, let's choose it now. Let's choose our culture right now, boys. So it's going to put it to the screen. All right, so we got to choose a culture. So culture selection, historically empires have grown both from both their uh, idiosyncrasies and the uh, device, device, diversity of cultures they have encompassed or come in contact with. In humankind, you get to combine cultures to create your own empire with more than 1 million possible combinations. Here are the cultures you can choose from for the in ancient era. Take some time to browse through them at your own pace. Then select one of them for more information. Okay, so I gotta I gotta choose really who I want to be. Uh, culture details, all that stuff. So we got Babylonians. You can see what they're giving me. Uh, we've got the Phoenicians, which are probably gonna be a sea people. Yep. There we go. So next we've got the zoo. So the zoo. Um, what are they gonna give me? Spend money promoting. So Aztec empires receive more fame when earning. Uh, when earning another era, some era stars can um, they, it can spend money promoting patriotic works of arts in spe uh, specific territories, pushing back foreign spheres of influence and generating influence. Okay, so uh, it can get some arts and stuff. What about the other ones? I can't get these guys, right? No, I can't get these. So I, I'm, I got a, ch a choice between these three. This one can use influence to marvel, uh, martial venture capital towards a resource depo a deposit, either creating an extractor or generating money so we can basically extract resources, which would be kind of good. Uh, Babylonians, what about them? Scientists, uh, no, so can cities, it can set cities into collective minds mode. All the industry and money are converted into science. The mod. Uh, the mode lasts for at least five turns. That's all. That's really good, though. But I'm, I think I'm going to go with Zoo just because of keeping, like, I want to prevent myself from having too much influence from other people. So, plus two stability on district, plus eight stability, uh, one science, five of science, research, and everything. And we gained that uh, unit right there, which is a Zanchi, a horse towed vehicle. So, we're gonna basically get that. Let's adopt that, boys. There we go. We are uh, we are now the zoo. So this is the culture legacy trait, a, uh, a gameplay modifier that will remain active until the very end of the game. Each culture has a different trait, and traits will add up as you progress through eras and combine and combine more cultures. Okay, got you. Culture details, finally, an emblematic uh, detail. Yes, I got all of that. Culture details, all of that good. And let's confirm that, boys. So we are now the zoo, which is very interesting. We got our own uh, culture. Challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel. Quickly, that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of 
wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. Perhaps you don't so another really cut scene, boys. Markets when you have deep philosophers and dangerous chariots. There we go. The first era, official era that we're getting in. Uh, now we actually have something to do, I imagine. So maximize filter. Before placing your first city, let's study the terrain. Use this button to show the grid. Understood. Uh, maximize filter. The Yeah, all that stuff. I already know about that. Uh, so diplomacy, ransack, successful. Really good. So onward to a new era of major things. So how do I get to that place right here? Affinity. So era stars and fame. Okay, so I gotta use fame or something or... I've got a hundred of fame right now, so I'm first. I'm actually the first one, the first civilization, interesting. And we got cultural this. What about that? So you can introduce yourself to this empire, manage your relationship with this empire. So we got another empire we can introduce ourselves to. Um, we've got some money right here we're making. This spawns point has been ransacked, so we gained uh, some money out of it. Let me see what he crack. I do want to interact with this guy. All right, so we're interacting with these guys for the first time. Another empire, boys. Okay, so diplomatic relations state. Uh, it's unknown, so we don't know about each other. So we basically... So your war support to go up against them, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. We got war support, relations tab. And that's pretty much trades, treaties, or crisis just yet. Uh, my relations, you can introduce yourself to this empire. Manage your relationship with this empire. So open your history. So introduce yourself. Introduce myself just so we know of each other. Uh, basically, that would be a good idea to start knowing about each other. Maybe we can do some trades and stuff. They can help me out along the way. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. For now, I'll be with you, my girl. So propose an alliance. Let's propose an alliance with these guys. Let's uh, let's do it. Uh, actually, that's just for relation proper uh, purposes. I can propose just simply trade. I don't have any anything to trade though, so they don't have either. Uh, peace. So the treaties. So that's how you do peace treaties. Only trade luxuries. Share maps. Open borders. So border diplomacy. So you can see that peace related treaties right there. So if you're at peace, you can do these. Share the map information about them. They share your map information would be great. Closed borders, open borders. I'm going to keep closed borders though. Uh, tolerate skirmishes. Non-aggression pack. You know what? Let's do a non-aggression pack, my girl. So they want me to pay, but I don't have any money. Cannot be done without enough money. How much money do I have? Oh, I've got 20 right now. I'm not gaining anything per turn. Okay, I got I got you. Well, I'm going to refuse for now. Well, all right, I'm going to try my best. Really, I don't want to be an enemy to you. It's just I don't have the money right now. So maybe we can just share maps. Let's see if we can share maps. Oh, do you not want to share maps? or I guess not. Not right now. Okay. Uh, there, we're at peace. That's all we can say for now. Do we want to propose an alliance? We can't do that. Okay, so does it cost actual points to do that every time or... I'm not sure. I'm not going to do a surprise war or anything. I'm going to I'm going to leave it be for now, boys. They're tolerating me right now. It seems like I really don't have anything else to do. I'm I've got the money system now, so these horses and copper is a thing as well. All right, so these guys, I'm going to keep moving with them. We can actually get cities now or clear the forest as well. Okay, that, that's a thing. So now we can actually get cities. Uh, do we have an actual research tree? Progress. No technology selected. So now I can actually choose a technology. Okay, I got you. So domestication. Uh, city defense. Calendar. Or carpentry. So calendar would give us... Artisan uh, quarter. Carpentry. Which would be the best boys right now? Scout riders and animal barns. I'm going to do the uh, domestication. It seems like the best option right now. Seems like uh, this is what I would want to do right there. So let's do that. We are also going to go ahead and attack uh, that unit right there. Unit uh, veterancy, of course. 
I'm gonna go and do instant uh, resolution just like that open victory there we go we gained some money out of that so now we're starting to gain money as well which is very good and we can't do anything else right now right that's uh, that's fine by me so now we're actually developing we're actually a, a real a real uh, people some real people and stuff so outpost creation uh, what about this uh, psalm right here where is it at in terms of things it can only move its outposts uh, your first city, so you're not ready to build your first city, the capital of your empire, so that we can do. Evolve outpost into city. Let's do this. Finally, boys. There it is. So we got our outpost. It has been uh, forged into a city, so we got our very first city right here. Look at that. That is perfect. That is fantastic. Now everything started to move properly. We've got society, so this there is one territory in your empire sphere of influence. So look at that, that's really good. So now we can start building stuff. There we go, okay, now it looks more like civilization and stuff. Public ceremonies would just give us five and stuff, some resources, uh, instant uh, uh, resources. We can get pottery workshop. A pottery workshop would give us, uh, would cost us 100 production. Uh, how many productions are we do we have right now? Well, I'm not, I'm not sure. I mean, it's it's gotta be because of the turn. So, what about this? This would take 18 turns for these farmers' quarter, Confu uh, Confucian uh, school. So we can get some school. Uh, school would give us like science. What do we need the most right now? We need money, absolutely. But we obviously want to work on the workshop as well. So. I'm gonna start working on a workshop. Why not? Uh, right here, I guess. Do I have to select it or? Oh, I guess not. Okay, I guess I don't have to select it or anything. Am I already working? Uh, so I'm working on it right now. Can I build multiple things at the same time or how's it going with that? Not sure how exactly it works. If I do district, okay, so I think I'm. Oh, okay, so it's pending. Okay, so I'm gonna work on that. So right now it's going to take 13 turns for this to be built, which is going to take a long time when you think about it. We've got this one. So this outpost right here is still going to take another another three turns to be built. Once it's being built, uh, once it's built, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to uh, actually change it, uh, switch it into a, a city itself as well. So I'm pretty sure that's going to, it's going to happen. So that's uh, going to be done. So now until that is done, can still ransack this place to get more money but uh, I think I want to keep exploring a little bit and especially probably um, protecting my borders a lot more so I imagine you can see the outpost what it's gonna look like this is uh, this is the line the city that is gonna give me all the territories and stuff can I get workers or how does it work for working tiles and stuff I'm not entirely sure how it works boys I have to figure that one out as well but for this unit, where do I go? Can I go here and do some stuff with that? Can I ransack this or can I do anything with this? I don't think I can. I don't think I know how to do anything with that. So I guess we're going to keep moving south a little bit, boys. Keep moving south. Okay, so that's done for that unit. What about that one right there? So that unit right here, it's going to have to go towards a location like this or something like that. I think I want to just keep it moving themselves. There's nothing really going on in the uh, in the north. Just gonna keep moving south really quick. We have enough points apparently for another outpost, but right now I want to chill. I want to wait for my second outpost to be built before I do anything stupid. So let me just go here really quick. There we go. I'm gonna. Ch I think I'm gonna. What I'm gonna end up doing is with this unit. I'm gonna be doing outposts uh, and stash cities all across the board it's the one that's going to be doing the the cities and stuff so i think that's what i kind of want to do i think these are my uh the people i'm talking to or something i'm not entirely sure let me go ahead and uh do a battle against these guys really quick just so i can uh i can get that so let's do let's go ahead and do a manual battle just because it's going to be a little bit more, a little bit better for me. So let me uh, travel there and the deployment. There we go. And we're going to start attacking them. Okay, so I, I do need to do that. Boom, just like that. A big charge. Just from that, now they're going to start attacking me probably. 
Let's do really, uh, let's see really quick. Yeah, the deer's gonna attack me and stuff. He killed one of my units, but we got it. So that's five gold right there. Just like that, easy money. We got another resource uh, just waiting for us right there. So that's really good. We are doing uh, fantastic so far. It seems like exhausted and stuff. Okay, so we're gaining some money. I got 45 of gold. I'm gaining three per turn now because of uh, I've got a city. I'm gaining, uh, gaining three influence as well. Which I'm still not sure, uh, aside from doing outposts, what I can actually do uh, with the whole thing. With um, the cities, uh, with the points and stuff. So and This guy can't move any, uh, any further. So now there is an option right there. So news from the borders, what is that? Okay, so we do have to interact with them. We do have to do something, I imagine. So what do they want me to do exactly? Because I can't do anything with them. Uh, we refuse to do an aggression pack. Uh, open borders, we can't do anything with that. Trade, I can't trade anything. So there's nothing I can do with them. I just want to be friendly with her, but there's really nothing I can do uh, right now. I, I don't want to do a surprise war or anything, so... Let me just, yeah, let me just do that. I don't want to do anything with her just yet. I imagine that's, that's them right there. I imagine that's who they are. Uh, Arapa, that's probably who they are. They've got, uh, how many uh, civilization do we, or population do we have in our city right now? In one turn, we're going to have our first population. Okay. I imagine it's going to get faster probably because we got cities now, or I hope so at least. Our stability is all the way up, so that's good. Balanced policy, so city growth. I do want the city to grow. Economic export, public control. Yeah, I'm going to make sure that the city uh, grows, boys. So I want I want the city to grow for now. So I'm going to focus on the growth. And then, uh, and then let them focus on the money and the science. I want the growth first and foremost. Let's go ahead and end the turn. We're going to have our last turn right here going on in a minute. So we did gain our first population just like that. So our first populace, actually somebody living in the city, which is good. Uh, so now that we got one person living, it's really good. So now they're focusing on food. You can see this is why I'm saying uh, city growth because I want them to focus on the food first and foremost. We've got pottery, so I can actually use money eventually to upgrade that, which is very good. Uh, and aside from that, I've got nothing too crazy going on. I, I just got to wait for the rest, I guess. It's going to take minus one population for scout. So this is a scout, so it can go around and do stuff. Okay, I got you. I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to move him south a little bit right here. We're going to move this guy south and uh, for now we're going to chill with him. I don't really have anything to do uh, for him. I do have a resource right here. I can't ransack it. I can't do anything with it. So I guess uh, that's our, our loss right there. So I guess I'm just going to keep uh, keep moving south really. There's nothing. Uh, there's really nothing I can do per se. So I got my two cities by, by each other. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna need to um, settle, uh, uh, get another city eventually. We've got this guy right here, so my biggest army. What I want to do with them, unit veterancy. So one of you units have gained a veterancy level. So what is that? Does that mean anything? Transfer? No. Okay, no. So it's just, uh, it's just a veteran. I, whatever that means, boys. Whatever that means. So multi selection. Can I not grow any further now? I guess I can't grow any further. I can't get any more soldiers or whatever. So I guess that's fine. I'm going to just go here really quick. All right, just to move from a border to a border, it's going to take some time. So let me actually go here instead and uncover more uh, territories right here. And with this unit, do I want to go here? I guess so, right? We want to uncover as much land as possible right here with this unit. That's perfect. And I think we are good. I think that's pretty much everyone. Still got this diplomacy or society thing. It shows you who we are, what we are about. There we go. So we get our first trade with them. We're trading uh, luxuries. I kind of want to do an aggression pack trade. That, well, that's just a treaty right there. 
But uh, can we counter? Can we propose an alliance? I don't know if I want to propose an alliance just yet, boys. We are tolerant of them. Uh, I want to do a non-aggression pack for now. I think that's the best thing. Or actually, no. I want to share our maps. I want to know where you are. So let's share our maps really quick. Propose that. And uh, yeah, she does need to be convinced. So I'm going to accept. I'm going to give her 30 gold, boys. And it's done. Well, there we go. So we've got uh, shared maps and we've got only trade uh, uh, trade luxuries. We've got uh, military car. I know she's going to want some money for that. So I'm not going to do anything about that. So now that we know where she is, at least there's that, right? That's a good thing. Uh, do we still need to uh, do anything with her? No, I don't think so. I think we're good now. All right. So now we know where she is and that's her. So yeah, that's her right there. So that's what I had a feeling that was her right there. I had a feeling, boys. And now we know she's there. And uh, we're, we're definitely... Uh, no, we don't want to attack her. You know, we, we don't want to attack. We're going to want to leave her be for now. So it's going to take an entire four turns just to get there. Or I guess I'm going to go here and try to get uh, to that resource. I want to get to that resource right there. Okay, let me uh, let me get there, I guess. I got to go around in order to get to that resource right here. So, all right. So we did a lot today. We actually got our first civilized, our first city done. We, uh, we got to the next, uh, the first era. We, and we are the zoo. Uh, we've got a lot of things that we are doing right now. Uh, one city done. Seven of populous, I guess, or seven soldiers in total. We've got a lot of things going on. Our outpost right here, second outpost, which is going to be a second city. It's going to be done in two turns. So it's going to be great as well. I wonder if there's a, a negative option for having too many cities at the same time. I wonder. I hope not. The mystication is going to take 10 turns. So uh, there's that, I guess. That's going to take a while for that to be completed. But uh, we're still working on that, I guess. So... Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't enjoy the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.